Hello, neighbors, and good morning to you. Welcome to the neighborhood, or welcome back if you've been here before. I'm proud of you for finding your way back. Yay, you. I'm Squealer D, and I am back again. And this time, we are back in the money, ladies and gentlemen, back in the money, and ready to learn about more of these stock type orders and how to use them this time. Today, we are going to bop into Think or Swim and use the buttons, guys. So if you listened and you have your Think or Swim, whether it is mobile or on a PC or on your Xbox, I don't even know if you can have it on your Xbox, but wherever you have it, open it up because we are going to go in there and we are going to adjust, play, and try out some of the things. And we don't have to worry because it's free money, guys. We get a practice for free. So let us see. I had told you guys yesterday that, let me pop up my, my chat bar in case anybody chats and says, hello, squealer. Okay, so chat is open and we are ready. I told you yesterday to find out what an OCO order, one cancels the other. And we are going to learn about that today. That is an advanced stock order. So we learned about market orders and we learned about limited orders and limit stops and stop orders and stop losses. But we did not learn yesterday what an OCO is. One cancels other order. Okay, so let us read this. Michael Turvey, he's a senior manager over at TD Ameritrade, you know. And uh, he wrote this wonderful article back in May of 2022. It's just a five-minute read. So we're going to read this really quick and then um, pop over to, like I said, think or trade and do a couple trades so we can practice these cells. And that is where we're going to start, guys, practicing cells and practicing using charts. Okay? We have to know how to do all of it. So these are just practice ones. We're not trying to make any money. We're not trying to be big shots with our with our entrance and our exits, we are simply learning how to cast an order, kind of like a spell on Hogwarts. Just want to learn how to do it, guys. It have nothing to do with how much money or anything like that. Or, or even we could do one share. We could even trade just one share. It doesn't matter. We're just practicing. So if you're an experienced trader, one whose strategies have grown toward the more sophisticated side of things, then your trade entries and exits might require a bit of extra nuance. And they tell us if you're an experienced trader and you've grown toward the more sophisticated side of things, guys, we don't want to throw our money in what we are right now, unsophisticated sloths. We don't want to be money sloths. So, and when we enter in with our actual real money, we are going to be an experienced trader. That's us, experienced trader. We're going to do our own broking, and we are going to be on the sophisticated side of things because that's where our risk management will lie, on the sophisticated side. So if you are just here to throw some money and blow it like you would at the casino, doing the slot machine, ka-ching, 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 that's not what this is. The stock market doesn't work like that. If you think like that, you're going to go in there and ka-ching, and the machine's going to eat all your money. It's going to eat it, and you're not going to get your coins back. So you have to know what you're talking about so you become an experienced trader before you trade. And to do that, we practice orders like we're going to today. So here we go. We got to get basic stock type, basic stock type orders that we covered yesterday. They can cover most of your trade execution needs, but if your orders require a bit more fine tuning, there are a host of advanced stock order types at your disposal. And by fine tuning, guys, a lot of that is your risk management. Maybe you're not willing to lose more than three to seven percent of what you're of what you are um, investing. And if that's the case, you will need a more extra nuance. You'll need extra nuance. You will need to make sure that you have a way to get out of a trade on either side of the trade, meaning above or below, because you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose your gains, and you don't want to lose extra money. So advanced stock types, guys, we got to know them all, every one of them. I am going to give you a stock type test, and you have to know how to execute each one of them. And, and 
what happens when you execute each one of them. So here we go. As with the more basic variety of stock orders, you probably want to know these advanced order types really well so you can match them to the appropriate context and avoid errors that could be risky or costly. Note that some order types described here straddle the basic to advanced category. So you might want to familiar, familiarize yourself with all of them to better understand when and when not to use them. Before we get started, there are a couple things to note. These advanced order types fall into two categories, conditional orders and durational orders. Conditional means that an order is to be filled under specific conditions or that the fill will trigger a condition. Durational means that an order must take place with a, within a specific time frame or time in force. So what we talked about yesterday, one cancels the other. Does, does anybody know what it is? I'm going to tell you right now a one cancels other order or an oco is a conditional order in which two orders are placed and one order is canceled when the other order is filled makes sense guys one cancels the other two conditions one of them gets filled the other one gets canceled this may sound complicated but it's fairly easy to understand in context suppose you buy shares of a stock trading at 40 dollars. your profit target is 30 percent and you don't want to lose more than 10% value in your position. Risk management, guys. You don't want to lose more than 10%. And your profit target is 30% 30, 30 of that. Okay? So you might place an OCO order consisting of a sell limit and take profit at $52 and a sell stop at $36. So you see at, at 52, guys, they traded at 40 at $52, which would be a 30% profit, if you get that share up to $52 from 40, your profit is 30%. And if you sell at $36, you won't lose more than 10%. And 10% is, is that is very, um, it's okay to lose 10%, guys, because if you get 30% back on average, a couple losses only equal up to one win. You see that? If you keep your risk management where your profit target is 30%, and your, your loss is only 10%, then if it goes up, guys, and you sell, you're going to get your target. And if it goes down, it's going to sell, and you're not going to lose that much. It's risk management. You might place an OCO order consisting of a sell limit, so you take profit at 52, and a sell stop at 36. So see how it's, the OCO is two orders that are placed, but one cancels the other. So it could be two different orders. This one, they used a sell limit and a sell stop. And, okay, so if the stock's price reaches $52, your position will close out at a profit and your sell stop will immediately be canceled, removing the risk of inadvertently opening a short position should the stock decline to trade again at $36. So you sell it. Get out and get your 30%. A bracket order available in most trading platforms designed for active traders. A bracket order will immediately place an OCO take profit and stop order once a position is open. A bracket order. Look at that, guys. You can do uh, one cancels the other or some, some places have an automatic bracket order which puts them for you. So... If you enter a long position, a bracket order will immediately place an OCO sell limit and sell stop. If you enter a short position, a bracket order will be placed, will place an OCO buy limit and buy stop. Okay, a buy limit and a buy stop. So you can use a bracket order when you buy or when you sell. Nice. So a stop limit order allows you to find a price range for execution specifying the price at which orders is to be triggered and limit the price at which the order should be executed. It essentially says, I want to buy or sell at a price, but not any higher than price Y. So I want to buy at $4, but not any higher than $5. Okay. Okay. Suppose you're eyeing a stock that's trading at $120. 
you want to buy when the price reaches 125, but not if it exceeds 130. So you place a If you want to buy the stock, why wouldn't you buy it at 120? Just in this example, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you're eyeing a stock that's trading at 120, why would you want to buy it when it reaches 125? Why wouldn't you want to buy it at 121? You would say $4 per stock. Okay, we're going to still go along with their, with their example, even though I don't understand it. So you place a stop limit order, a buy stop at 125 and a buy limit at 130. By doing this, your order can get triggered at the lower price while preventing any orders from being triggered beyond your limit price. So if the stock opens at a gap beyond 130, your order isn't filled until the price falls back down to, one, to 130 or below. For short sell positions, you'd do the reverse. If you're using the Think or Swim platform, you can set up brackets with stop and stop limit orders when placing your initial trade. Under the trade tab, select a stock and choose buy custom or sell custom from the menu. Okay, guys, remember this when we go into Think or Swim, buy custom. So good till canceled versus a day order. This durational order, remember that's for time, guys, how long it lasts, can be used to specify the time in force for other conditional order types. It basically means keep this order active until I cancel it. Orders that haven't been filled by the end of the day are usually canceled once the market closes. But if you want to keep a buy order or sell order in place until it's filled, or however long your broker will allow you to keep it active, typically no more than 90 days, this is when you might want to use a good till cancel order, GTC. A quick note on time and force. A bit of common sense. If you're placing a conditional order type that involves two or more orders, make sure that the time in force for each order is identical. For example, if you're placing an OCO order, it wouldn't be good if the order to be canceled immediately is a GTC, right? You, you're gonna, um, good until canceled, well, then it, it's gonna cancel. Also, don't confuse a day order with a GTC order, which doesn't get canceled at the end of the day. You don't want to be surprised by a mystery position the following day floating around in the negative return zone. That's what happened to me the other day, guys. When I went into my thinkorswim, I had left something. It was negative. I didn't know what it was, and I ended up resetting my entire thinkorswim. That's why you got to learn how to use thinkorswim, guys. Trailing stops are... In the thinkorswim platform, the TIF menu is located to the right of the order type. Okay. Trailing stops are not orders per se, but they're a means to automatically move or trail stops, like a basic stop order that we learned. Think of the trailing stop as kind of an exit plan. And we have entrance and exit plans in our, in our risk management strategies, right, guys? Daily coffee, guys. It's okay today, but it tastes kind of thick. Okay. So, a trailing stop as an exit plan. Here's how it works. Let's say you purchase shares of a stock, and your entire position is now in the profit zone. What might you do with your stop? You could leave it in place. You could move it up to a more break-even level to avoid loss should the market move against you. Or you could set it to trail your profitable position as it moves up higher. Suppose you set a trailing stop at a specified distance below your current position. If your position continues to move higher, your trailing stop also moves higher. If your position declines to match the price of your trailing stop, your stop order is triggered, closing your position. You're probably thinking, okay, but how far below my position should the trailing stop follow? There are many ways to calculate a trailing stop. If you're using the Thinkorswim platform, you could pull up an order ticket and select from the menu under the order type. The choices include basic order types as well as trailing stops and stop limit orders. See? Trail stop limit, trail stop. They're right there for us, guys. Before implementing any of these order types, it's important to know a few more things about stop orders. With a stop limit order, you risk missing the market altogether. 
in a fast moving market, it might be impossible to trigger the order at the stop price and then to execute it at the stop limit price or better. So you might not have the protection you sought. A trailing stop will not guarantee an execution at or near the activation price. Once activated, they compete with other incoming market orders. And of course, a limit order doesn't guarantee execution as the market may never reach your limit price. The bottom line, advanced order types can be useful tools for fine tuning your order entries and exits, but you need to know what each is designed to accomplish. And as with any trade idea or component you're trying out for the first time, consider practicing first in a simulated environment such as paper money. That's us guys. Archaic corner, a few order types rarely used by retail investors. Well, we'll learn these ones later, guys, because we need to practice on our own. So, let's see. What do we do? We got jump over into our TD Ameritrade, but make some orders. I have a question for you guys in the comments. You guys let me know. What do you guys think about all of these shootings mass shootings kids getting shot by legal guns guys this guy sitting in his car 25 years old legal gun shot a gal a cheerleader all she did was get in the car she thought it was her car guys you want to know how many times i've gotten into the wrong car in a parking lot this little girl's like 18 you know how many times I've gotten in the wrong car in the parking lot? At least three times. I'll be dead. Why? Why are we allowing people that are crazy to have legal guns? How about this girl, Kaylin Gillis? These two right here in a car with their friends going to a party. Turned down the wrong street in New York. Some 65-year-old crazy with a legal gun, guys. Legal. Shot her down. Killed her for driving in his driveway. They were just looking for a for a party and didn't have service for their phones, guys. They were lost. Imagine being lost in the back hills of New York and getting shot for it. What about this 85-year-old dude who shot this kid? He's 85 with a legal gun, guys. Not one of these has been with an illegal gun yet. We keep hear hearing our politicians talk about, well, the bad guys have guns. Well, the good guys have guns and they're killing us. This guy shot this kid right, here, right in the head and then walked outside and shot him in the arm for ringing his doorbell, guys. Legal gun. Legal gun. He went to pick up his baby brothers, his two twin brothers. That's it. Knocked on, rang a doorbell, shot in the head. Luckily, he's alive. But that 84-year-old dude who did it didn't care. Shot him with his legal gun for no reason other than knocking. How about the dude who... um? Back in the BLM riots, back, oh, oh, your favorite boy, Abbott, the, the guy who shot somebody because he was legally protesting carrying a gun, and the guy shot him dead out of his windshield. Just shot him dead. And then they found him guilty for shooting him dead because you don't just get to go around shooting people. But old Greg Abbott, you know, the king of Texas, he said, You do get to go around shooting people and uh, uh, F them BLMers. And uh, he is going to... Give this guy a, what is it called? A pardon. A pardon, guys. Dude got found guilty. And while he was still going through the process, oh, your old boy Greg Abbott said, I'm going to let that man out. I'm going to give him a pardon because it's the right thing to do. No, it's not. He killed somebody, guys. He had a legal gun and he killed another man carrying a legal gun. You don't get to do that. But Greg Abbott says you do. And that's why we're seeing things like this, because Greg Abbott is just as hateful as Donald Trump. That's where all this came from. In 2016, we elected Donald Trump and all he did was spew his hateful rhetoric. He spewed it for four years and then he's been spewing it for another four years. And that is why 25 year old man sitting in his car thought he could shoot a girl for opening his car door. This guy thought he could shoot this young 20 year old girl because Donald Trump emboldened him, told him, protect your property with your legal guns because the bad guys are out to get you. These weren't bad guys. They were our children. Our children. Like, these people getting shot in all of these, all of these shootings, you guys, 
They're getting shot with legal guns. Uvalde. Legal gun. He purchased a legal gun days before he killed all those kids. 21 people died in Uvalde. How about the guy who killed all the black people at the Topps grocery store? He said he did it because they were black. You know what he shot him with? A legal gun. Every gun that has been in mass shootings that I can think of has been a legal gun. Guys, guess what? Parkland, legal gun. Parkland shooter, legal gun. All of them have been legal guns. All of them. They buy these guns right before they do it. And then they do it. And we suffer. And then our kids are afraid to go to school. And our kids are afraid to go to parades. And our kids are afraid to go to grocery shopping. Kids are afraid to be cheerleaders. Our kids are afraid to go to parties because they might get shot. Our kids are afraid to go pick up their freaking little brothers because they might get shot. Like, what kind, what kind of world are we making for our families, for ourselves? Why learn the I'm stock like market and, and how to get rich if people are just going to shoot your children down because of hateful rhetoric spewed from an ugly old man? Join us in this camp. I don't make it, it doesn't make any sense to me. That stops a bad guy with a gun. I have friends that they keep saying they're not friends. I've just known them my, most of my life. And they say, well, if I'm not for taking anybody's gun, because if we take anybody's gun, the bad guys still got guns. A country where guns okay. are in everyday life. But if we just let this 85-year-old man who shot this boy have a gun because the bad guys have guns, he's retarded. He has mental issues that make him slow, whatever you want to call it, back, backwater, whatever you want to call it. This 85-year-old man, he saw a young black child standing on his porch, ringing his doorbell, he didn't have anything in his hands, picking up his little brothers, and within seconds of seeing this black male, he shot him in the head. Seconds. He said it himself. The old man said it. Oh, I seen him, and seconds later I shot him because I was scared. I thought he was going to rob me. Really? That's how we're going to live in the United States, because we don't want to take this old man's gun? Because his family doesn't care enough to go and take his gun because he's confused and old? Old and violence. probably this has dementia. Of public health to help the most he was so confused and scared that he shot people. a child, guys. So how did we get here? This guy, how so confused and scared, of American he shot a cheerleader. Of all the proposed solutions, a little girl that had just gotten done could effectively reduce turning flips in the at midnight. She got in his car. She was 18, guys. Little girl. Shot her. Shot her down dead. Not some big girl, not some big man, not somebody with a gun, not somebody with a bunch of shit, a little girl climbing a car, the wrong car, and got shot it. As got shot down for it only three like, countries say with a legal gun, with a legal gun, with a legal gun, with a legal gun. And all I hear from people are, oh, uh, well, most of this stuff's happening with illegal guns. Most okay, yeah, most of the people out on the streets killing each other, that is with illegal guns. I don't care about them. I'm sorry, but I don't. If your child like Jalen is out rolling a doobie and uh, threatening to beat up other kids who don't want to join a gang, then he probably got not what he deserved because nobody deserves to be shot, but he probably got what he was giving. The kid was carrying a gun. He probably threatened somebody with a gun, and he got gun down that's what happens and you are right illegal guns but we're not talking about illegal guns we are talking about legal guns in this country that are causing mass shootings the synagogue you guys remember the synagogue where all those poor jewish people died and then that was a legal gun, guys. He bought that gun legally. We're talking about legal guns, not by criminals, by mentally ill people. Our country is experiencing a mental health crisis. And it cannot be stopped with, well, the good guys have to have guns, too. We do. I'm not saying take away our guns. Take away people's rights to be mentally ill and have a gun. Take away people's rights to get angry, go buy an AR-15, and six days later, do a shooting. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about stopping selling shotguns and hunting rifles and, and pistols. I'm talking about stop selling guns that rip people apart. Because when you do, the retards get them. And I don't know if you like that word or not, but something is retarded in their brain to make them use a gun in a mass shooting. 
for the NRA. And so if we can control that, guys, and we can know how, you raise the prices of the guns, you make them a little bit more expensive. So freaking promote gun control. Ricky, shoot him up. Can't go buy a gun and six days later, shoot him up. If you raise the price of the guns and you make sure that they have a hold time, hey, make somebody wait three months for a big gun. If you if you could wait three months, you probably only need it for hunting and such, right? If you're getting your data collection No, let them have the gun right now so they go shoot up their boss tomorrow. The guy at the bank, guys, that guy at Old National Bank, guess what he had? You guys think that that, that bank dude, nice clean cut little white guy, you think he went and got his gun illegal? Legally on the streets that makes it easy from Jimbo if you have is that what you really think that that white guy that worked at old national bank for five years or four years went on the streets traded some cocaine for to be Billy badass he didn't guys he went to a store was made to the dick he used his ID to conduct and he bought guns and then he shot up the bank and guess what his mama said he had mental health issues guess what we knew that, Mom, because he shot up a bank. On the rights of those so why? Why do we have it in our country where somebody whose mother knows that they have mental health issues can go and buy a gun legally? Why? Each year, approximately 40,000 people Just answer me in the comments why. And, and now we're hopping back over to go make a trade, guys. We're going to make three trades today. With an estimated And we're going to see the difference. And then I want you to make these same three trades. You know, but yeah, sorry guys, I just had to talk about that. I just see too many people that I know, too many people that I know think access to that. And you have lots of guns available to you. More well, look like the bad guys are the ones that have the gun. No, the bad guys are the ones that have the gun, but they don't have them illegally. Not all shootings are from illegal weapons. Not. And the number of gun deaths in a place. And that's something that you can see consistently across the board year after year. The places that have more guns have more gun deaths. But if you look at just the injuries and deaths, My coffee's you're like missing a very big part not of the good problem. coffee, guys. For every this is the second like day out of 17 a, days that I've had bad coffee. Destroyed. There's a I'm not good at making coffee. That's shattered. I need like a Starbucks delivery system in the morning for these. And worry. It's that coffee. Tremendous. And while most gun owners water. cite safety and protection as the reason for owning a firearm, research shows that having I don't a gun know what happened to it, guys, but it got so thick. Keep you safer. What we found it's was thick that on my tongue. Not that's all I can taste. Does thick having coffee. A gun in your home okay. Not so let like us safer, find a low. Increases the risk that's so I, I like Peloton, hand. guys. Peloton's It'll cheap. It's nine seventy one. It's easy. We can find it. Look, it had a little a little rise up here right now. Let's let's make us a Peloton order really quick. Buy market share, guys. That's how you buy. Not by a hundred percent. By two. Edit the order. The risk We're not going to buy a hundred of them. Will be shot It'll be like nine hundred dollars. We'll just buy ten of them. And the risk that someone okay. in your family ten Peloton and we'll buy it at market price. Right gun. now it is selling at nine seventy two. So let's see what the market it's order goes through at. Five ten Peloton at market price. Make up the largest firm and send. Deaths. Send it out. That was the that is the like confirmation page. We could bop over here, guys. Remember these? Look, it, it filled. So bop over to our monitor page. Here's our stock. We bought it at 972. What is who are gun owners? So as you guys can see, then you have another we bought it at market. Market it went immediately. And that is because look at the spread, guys. The spread is only a penny. The bid and the ask are so close that market went through. Really good being killed in homicide. You guys can see what I'm talking about. This is the bid price and this is the asking price that people are asking 973 and the bid is 972. That is called the spread, the difference. Also become more but it's only a penny. So, when you go and buy a market order, it's easy to get it at the bid price. The asking price is pretty much the same. Couple decades. So, really centered around we bought things it. like mass shootings. Now we have it. That was called a market order. We could go back over to our chart. Small we could even buy more, guys. We could go, go buy. Look at the data again. Edit it. What you find is that those are not. I get used to doing this, guys. So we buy ten more. This time, let's buy it at a limit. Minority. We only want to buy this. What is it, guys? Right now, let's buy it if it goes down to nine seventy. If it bops down to nine seventy, it will give us ten of them. Confirm. Yes. Okay. Now you see it's right here. 
that's about so if it goes down to 970, minutes. we're going to get it. In those incidents, well, more than 400 if there's enough, then, we're, then they'll fill it. Limit orders Despite do not always get filled. If it doesn't go down here, guys, we're not going to get it. Of certain gun regulations so, and laws have been that's for that. That's level. our limit order. For example, in Let Indiana, us the red flag law go over to somebody else. percent reduction what do we got right here? Suicides a decade after it was implemented. Um, Even other methods, like permit laws or ceasefire programs, have had some success in individual cities. But the research is my, mixed. My One study found that states can reduce homicide rates just by implementing three laws. Universal background checks are laws that prevent anyone with a criminal record from buying a weapon. Major laws give discretion to the police to actually refuse so we to can... issue um, a concealed carry permit. Valid misdemeanor laws basically prevent someone wow, guys. who has been convicted of an interpersonal violence misdemeanor from buying a gun. We found that a combination of all three laws reduced firearm homicide rates by 29%. In 2019, it means that 4,200 people would have been saved. But none of these methods on their own Sorry. are perfect. Rewind. And as some Rewind. states loosen the reins on gun regulation, expanding the research on gun violence could be our most useful Dang tool it. in reducing it. Having more consistent data well, nobody in the chat told me that they couldn't see what I was doing. Those things really came well done, huh? Well done. Solutions. Okay, so I did all this stuff, guys. I, I ordered orders and nobody saw it because my screen did not change over. And then I didn't know that, that we weren't looking at it. So here we go. What I did was placed a market order for this and it's working on a limit order. Here's our limit order. So if it drops down to 970, minority, um, then we the will purchase we another. But keep guns out let me cancel that out so I could show you. So that's all I did was just close that little, when you click on the little X, that canceled that order. And you can see, go over here, canceled orders, I just canceled it. We work on it Okay. So we have a filled order, that was the first one I made. I'll make on prevention. a different this is one. A problem we can solve. And that's okay, we'll just do it again. Let us go. Merrill Lynch. No, we don't want that one. We want, let's look at Apple. What's Apple got? Ooh, Apple got a high today. Apple. The truth matters. Dang. Lies. Who is this? The start of the. Apple's crazy today. Look at it. Okay, let's try. Let us see. What is their has ninth? To telling lies about Dominion One. that caused enormous damage to my company. Remember, guys, this thing over here is level two, and this shows us the ask Nothing versus the bid, which is the spread, and it's pretty close here. So let us try a market order on this one. We're just gonna buy one and see what it gives us. We'll buy a market order. Right now, the ask price is one sixty-eight. The spread is pretty much equal. Let's see what we get it for. So we purchased one at 168.01. So it's pretty close. Pretty close to the to the 168.01 is 168.07. You can pop over here, and we can see that these are our two orders. And this will be a prolonged. We have ten of these, and we have one apple. It's our canceled order. We're not working any orders, and our Position is we have Apple. We made five cents. And Peloton, we've lost eight cents. You can see you can keep track of it right here. Very short time. And then got back over to charts. Here's our Apple one. When let us put a cell. Because we only have one. Let us see. Let me see how close it is. You gotta zoom in. Okay. It's like 168. Let's say that if it if it falls, Huddle, goes but up. Any amount can be unsafe for those young developing what are we brains. At? So Phil, I want to show a cell, but I don't think this is going to go down. 
kind of broad, such as abdominal pain, fatigue, headaches, joint pain, and then some issues with brain development, such as learning difficulties. Mm, let's just speech, put it anywhere. Hearing. You could put now, it in, in general, you know, that's okay. Public water we'll say it's at 168.09 right now, 168.10. Let us do piping, this. Edit it. Child's pediatrician and we have only one apple. And if needed, you want to make sure you're getting so we'll your sell our apple stock for lead at... and you potentially getting screened yourself for lead poisoning. So should people Let's who are try drinking stop. tap we haven't tried water to stop outside yet. The, the lead issue, should, should they be using some 168. sort of filtration system? Because there are so many. It, you know, we paid one sixty eight oh. all the way up to hundreds what did we pay and hundreds for? and hundreds of dollars. One sixty eight oh one. Well, we're going to say not so necessarily. So if it goes down to one sixty seven. Ninety percent of people just like me get their tap water from a public oh, one, source. Then we'll sell it. And in general, that is going to be tested. So if it goes period, down a dollar, totally fine, then we'll sell it. it straight from the tap. Now, there are some situations and it will be there. in which somebody may have a concern about their public water supply. Perhaps it's probably not going to go down that low. Let's move this up. Let's say if it goes to waste. here, or you have an where's this? Or under 167. Facility. Or maybe you're in a situation where there's contaminated ground Probably water. here. In these situations, it's totally appropriate to, we don't want it to go into a filter past There's that. So See how we just moved it up? And if we wanted to cancel it, we could just pop this little button right here and it'll cancel it. Make sure you do your so we have a stop loss in, right, so or just better? a stop. This is a stop. So water, if it goes water? lower than this, you know, I don't think I can then we will sell it. Is better. In fact, I didn't see any so it goes here, for sell. This, to find that bottled water in general what else we have? Be safer River Peloton. Let's water. go see what we could do with our Peloton because we will see all these Apple? different terms such as artisan, Peloton. spring, mineral, okay. alkaline. There's general, our Peloton. Marketing terms based on personal it's preference. At 970, we paid 972. So we could zoom in on here. Look like it's going back up. Let us say that if. Dr. Patel, it, it is we'll always sell fantastic this one too. to see you. Next time we'll do a segment on music. If it drops down. Fill them all we only have 10 it. of these Absolutely. guys. And Dr. Patel is taking and your questions. Let you can us leave a try message on our Instagram feed. And stop we might answer your question live on Friday. Meantime, thank you so much for streaming with us. I'm Phil Lipoff. ABC News Live is here for you anytime with the latest news, content, or, and analysis. I don't know, you can I don't know if we're doing this right. The ABC News app. And about to try it. ABCnews.com. The so news the other stops. One? We'll be right back. Oops. Okay, well, we'll see what happens with these guys because it doesn't matter if it sells or sells. No big deal. So it says we have a 969 limit and a 965 and stop. Existing customers can choose the phone they and then want. Like the incredible iPhone 14 on us. Got it. Not to brag, okay. but bye. So we, we, it looks now. like we got it set up, but we don't know if they're going to hit those parameters. So, you know, nothing might happen because if it doesn't hit these parameters, then it's not going to sell. So it's at 969 right now, and our stop was at 65. So this one may actually sell. But if it doesn't reach the parameters and go all the way down to 965, then it probably won't. Come on, Peloton, drop down for me. Just a little bit so we can show show the neighbors. Let's see what Apple doing. Apple said, uh, I'm on my way up. That's funny. It doesn't want to show up how to do a sell. What causes sensitive teeth? Did you know that the two leading What's causes are irritation? Oh, that's on our other one. And weak enamel. Switch to new Sensodyne Sensitivity Gum. That's a lot to learn, guys, and it's okay if you get confused. So let. Oh look. Now that you made three cents, guys. You made three cents off this. Her job to find you a job, any job. So. This is Carla's resume. I'm gonna give you his resume. Do you need something more related to your skills and interests? I need Indeed. Indeed you do. When your resume is on Indeed, you get matched with relevant jobs that fit your requirements. Where do you get your persistence from? So everyone else can go back to minding their own I'm business. trying to look for us a, um... From America's number one news source comes a the good list to have. See news app, breaking news, I want to watch video, list. Faster, smarter, a good watch and list, though. Customized to you and your interests. If you start building that now. So if you guys know, this is this is a uh, Budweiser and Anheuser Busch. Everybody thinks that they are. Download it now. Going to go broke because of this. Uh, what is it? Wherever, wherever. It's like a boycott against Bush beer, not Bush. Uh, Anheuser Bush. 
I don't know though, guys. It doesn't look like it's doing too good. It's kind of up. It's at uh, 67. The highest it's ever been was 79, but that was during the summer of the pandemic. So, you know, I think the pandemic pretty much had a lot to do with that. But this is, yeah, they took a dip, but they always take dips. That's what beer does. After officers brutally beat him to death. And then up here, news conference, I don't understand why people are boycotting beer anyway. We didn't boycott beer when it killed all the people that it's killed and caused liver damage. Nobody boycotts it for that. Nobody boycotts it because everybody's addicted. I don't understand the, the, the beer thing. Against him. But we do so, begin with the look at this. Fight and a it's all the way up to $60, the $65. Pill. Let's Mifflin buy one. Stone Let's is practice on our buying skills. The Supreme Court so we edit. To release its decision by midnight. What do we got to edit? Access the pill to we'll buy 100 of them. Be Man, that would be $600. We don't want no 100. By local we'll buy courts. 10 of them. The that sounds reasonable. Comes after a what is their spread right here? The we do this, pop over here, and get Bud Light on our spread. This is our level two. 65.77 and 60 5579. Let's do an experiment, hit a market order, and see what it sells us. Walk us through the different scenarios here. So it did. 79. Right at the asking price. So a couple ish, a couple pennies difference. But did you see how quick it went through? So we bought that. Ten of those shares, and it went through. Question on the table. Super quick. What to do about the government's request to stay a lower court order? All right. Well, we got them in. Let us sell them out. Just sell them at market so we can see what we get. And then we will call it a day, and we'll still practice more trades, and more trades, and more trades, guys. From the justices. But I will have. Those next time we need parameters. We need to start building our risk management. That's coming next, guys. You don't want to miss that because you cannot trade without risk management. Let us see. Let us sell at market price. We have our bud. Let's just resell it at market price and see what happens. Okay, we only have 10 of them. So we make this order correct. We're going to sell it at market. Here is our, our bid and ask. It's about a penny. Let's see what we get. Confirm and send. Confirm. Okay, it went right through at 65.78, which is actually a penny over the asking price. So wham, bam. See how quick it was? We lost 10 cents on that trade. Now let us bop over and do the same to Apple, see what we can get. Let's first look at our spread, Apple. That'll, when you do this link, guys, don't forget, if you do this link one, you see there's link one here too, one, one. That will connect these so that whatever you're looking at, your level two is right here. You can also do that with the news. And that, maybe you can't do it with the news. I don't know why you can't do it with the news. You, maybe I just, there we go, right there, right there. Yeah, now they're all attached. One, one, one. Got it. So let us cancel this stop order. It's about to hit that anyway. Let us cancel this stop order and just sell it as a market share and that way how many of these how many of these little puppies do we have we just have one apple don't we so we'll sell that apple at market right now their spread is 168.88 167.88 okay they're almost the same so confirm and send confirm and send and we sell right out oh one so you guys see that difference let's pop over there and look so we sold this apple stock at 68.01. Wow. That was a big, that's a big difference. Because it's at 167.82. And we sold at one, oh, we sold over. Yay us. See how it's different? Crazy. So, when you sell market, guys, it sells immediately. Buy market, it buys immediately. But you never know exactly what price you're going to get. Let us just get out of our Peloton, and then we will be done for the day. Cancel that stop limit. That's all you have to do is click on it, guys. It's really, really easy. Go up here, sell market, edit. Look at us. Bopping right along. How many of these guys do we have? We have 10. Yep, see? We can see how many we have right there. 10. Position 10 long. Average price we made. We lost 40 cents already. We're going to sell at market. Let's look at our spread. We got a 67, 68. Uh, let's see. 
Here we go. There we went. 971. Perfect. And we lost 20 cents. That's our profit loss for the day, guys. 20 cents. 20 cents just to learn order types. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Especially when it was a fake 20 cents. Anyway, I'm glad you all came. I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Be there or be square. Have a great day, neighbors. And never stop.